Hi, thank you for joining me. Tonight, I just wanna take a quick second to talk about what I've learned over this summer, being gone quite a bit for trips, and you may have seen that in my news feed in my Facebook feed, that I was out of town for trainings and for conferences, and it's kind of the season that I feel like fitness professionals are definitely out of town, and I've missed my classes because I've had to have subs for a lot of them confident that they were in good hands but i also just missed my husband at the same time and i wanted to make sure that i was still doing things that were fun and for me while i was gone but um when i got back i wanted to kind of reorganize where how i saw each month and what my goals were for each month and i know todd durkin talks a lot about every week he creates kind of his goals for each week and i can't quite think that small because every week changes so much for me um, i do have my goals that i want to accomplish for the week but it actually isn't just one arching goal it's like 10 different goals that I need to accomplish, whether it's training a new instructor or starting a new program. So what I wanted to make sure that I prioritize each month was five things that I just, that stuck out in my mind while I was on, on the plane back from Sacramento recently. And I was like, okay, when I get back, I'm going to make a list of these things and I'm gonna work it out so I can have each month planned out on these five things and make sure that there's something on these five categories that I'm making sure I do while I'm here in town or even if I'm away, um, making sure that I'm prioritizing these things. And so what I did is I actually went to Target and found the coolest little notepad that has like a hole in it so I can hang it up on my wall at home. So I have my calendar, which has my month, kind of my day-to-day -day small micro thinking I like to think about. And then I have my macro thinking where before the month even starts, maybe even a few months ahead of time, I'm thinking ahead to what's going to be important to me and what I need to make sure is on my calendar so it does get done. And this could be different for everybody and different for your own lifestyle and your own goals. But I know as a group fitness manager that I really wanted to make sure that this year I connected with my team more because the most recent reviews that I had done with some of my instructors, which is the best time for me to learn about myself and how I'm doing, is they of course are so nice in their annual reviews to me, but I noticed that there was definitely a difference in my previous years in doing my reviews with these people that they were saying things like they just didn't feel like they were as supported as they were in the past, um, or they had said just this, just not this year, they had gotten, hadn't gotten as much education as they were looking for, and I've realized that my team's getting so smart now that I have to step up the education that I provide to them. So I'm excited to do that. And so along with the education I wanna to provide to them, I also wanna make sure that I'm creating a better team environment. Among the different sections of my team or the different formats of my team, from like yoga to cycling, to some of our strength training classes. I want them to all feel like they are part of a group and a team. And then I also want the whole entire group, the whole entire team to feel like they're on a team. And it's a different dynamic this year, especially since there's two different teams in two different locations that I have to somehow try to find a way to meld them together. But I'm starting small and then getting big. So what I've created on my list of five things, some of it's work related, some of it's personal growth, and then some of it's just fun. The stuff that I wanna make sure that I do with my husband or I do with my family that I know lives really close by, they're only an hour to two hours away, most of my family, and I need to make sure that I'm making time for them as well. So my five things on my list, and of course it's color coded, and there's actually seven spots, so maybe I'll grow my list, who knows? I think five is a good start, that's plenty. Uh, so my first, th the first thing on my list, and I put it first for a reason, is fun. So what am I gonna do to have fun? This past month, I went to Bend for a pickleball tournament with my mom, that was a blast. Some other things that I have for fun this year are my birthday is next month, so doing something fun for my birthday, and it's also my anniversary month with my husband, so doing something fun with him. Oktoberfest in October, we usually go to Leavenworth and do Oktoberfest over there. It's like a Bavarian village in Washington. So those are just a few examples I've already planned. If you flipped through these the next month, so here's August, here's September. And then that way I can tear off August, look back at what I did if I accomplished these five goals. And if I didn't, maybe I put it on the next month. I'm not gonna pressure myself into this, but I wanna make sure that it's helping me lay out what's important to me. From fun, the next thing I have on my list is personal growth. So what personal growth means for me is how is my career advancing for just myself and how is, or how am I doing as, sometimes I actually like to consider myself hopefully an athlete and I love CrossFit. So what am I doing in CrossFit that's 
personally developing me. Um, ideally, I want to try to keep things focused on my career or my own personal development as a human being, become a better human being. Um, this past month, I've accomplished the goal of becoming a bar master instructor. For September, I'm going to start planning my bar mass, my first bar certification that we're going to host here at Pro Sports Club. And then my third thing on my list is how to better my group fitness department. And some things that I want to do with my team this year is I've reached out to quite a few very big names in the industry and I just am having a heck of a time hearing back from them. And it might be just because they're too big and we're too small apparently to hear back from them. So I was like, you know what? What about my own team providing education for each other? And so I've created a list of things that I think certain instructors can teach other instructors on. And it'll not only be team building, Building, but it'll also be a chance to create some more education for my team and I can apply easily through ACE it's a little not a small fee but that's 150 bucks for my team to just get a CEC at least 0.1 CECs to do their training with one of their teammates so our the one that we're doing actually is with a couple of our instructors about musicality and then um, using what we call what is called the step 360 it's like an inflatable almost like a step BOSU mate um, so this month actually we're adding Group X Pro to our team's subsystem and that's how I'm bettering my department and my team and making their lives easier, making my own life easier for this month. So that's my how I'm bettering my team this month and kind of into next month. So some things may spill into the next months, but I'm not going to judge myself for that. The fourth thing. so. These are very different. I have building the group fitness team and making them better. And then team building to me is different. It's more of the fun and silly events that we're going to do this year. Um, I wanna make sure that among the each groups I see that and then among the whole team. So what we did recently is we did a, just a yoga paddle boarding event where we had our yoga team. We reached out to our yoga team of regular instructors and asked them to come do a paddle boarding time with myself and our other managers and supervisors and we had about seven people show up we had fun on the water and it was a blast so I want to do something like that every month with various team members and then the last part of my five things that I want to do every month is giving so how can I give to someone whether it's in the community or it's on my team or it's another team uh, manager or a department that's helped me. I've been known to bake cookies for our engineering department because they do so much for our department. And I have to remember that even though things might not be the easiest as I'd like them to be when it comes to updating equipment or um, making sure some of the things are getting done in various parts of our department, um, I know how busy the other departments can be. And so I may sometimes just get them a gift card to the club or a spa gift card or something. So um, I really am trying to work on that this year. It's doing, reaching out to people, giving people um, the gratitude they deserve for the hard work that they do. And so that's the last thing on my list. But these are the five that I'm starting with and I just love how it's helped me look at a month in a much broader spectrum and has helped me feel like I'm in control of what is important to me as well as the little tasks that need to get done every month uh, over time. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you. And again, this was at Target. It was on sale. I'm sure it's a college thing right now, so it won't be around forever. But even just any good old notepad will work. I just like that this one had the middle piece at the top so I can hang it up. And I bought like four of these, <laughs> so I'm excited to use it. Thank you.